<laughs> There's a 50-50 chance this will never make it on air. Coming in three, two, no, We're not on one. live, right? What? I like the way you move. Uh oh. I hear a phone. I'm just making sure that it's not going live on. Yeah, it's it says live when it's recording. It does? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it always So it's does. not that Facebook thing that's Okay. Who are you calling now? Reavers. See he's, what kind of beer he got. He's at the liquor store. Uh He's so of course he's done with you. He's so reliable, right? <laughs> Let's call me anytime. I got you. We're good here. <laughs> he turns his All right. phone off. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> Three, two, and one. Fratelloni's Hardware and Garden Stores brings you, I think, Garage Logic Podcast number <laughs> no 819. Shot. Nope. March 28th, 2022. <laughs> 78 degrees was a record high. That was in 1946. And it was one below in 1923. And cue the sound. Three, two, two, one. one. East Shore of Spoon Lake. <laughs> That's Garage Logic. Close enough. With Rookie on Production. Chris Reavers, <laughs> Director of Social Media. Yeah. John Hyde in the <laughs> newsroom. Worth the independent and occasionally Kenny from the right Crabbit Coffee today. Shop. <laughs> Here is your Flashlight King. Fireworks Commissioner and Keeper of Common Sense, Thanks, your man. Mayor, Joe Souchere. Ice out dates? No ice out today. A couple tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Something that I begin. just saw that I think is more important than Will Smith and Kid Kid Rock. What's his name? <laughs> Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Rock. What could be possibly be more important than that? the same mistake. I just noticed this before we started. Poison fears. Roman Abramovich and Ukraine negotiators suffer poisoning symptoms with skin peeling off their faces after peace talks. Oh, Russian God. oligarch Roman Abramovich has reportedly suffered symptoms of suspected poisoning. The Chelsea owner fell ill along with Ukrainian peace negotiators in an attack blamed on hardliners in Moscow who say they want to sabotage their talks designed to end the war. What? Uh, let me scroll down. The okay. symptoms, symptoms included red eyes, constant and painful tearing, and peeling skin on their faces and hands, according to the Wall Street Journal. The billionaire and at least two members of his Ukrainian counterparts fell ill shortly after a meeting in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, earlier this month. A fourth member of the team did not fall ill, despite... <laughs> <laughs> God, what, were you at the meeting? <laughs> did anyone hear uh, yesterday's geez. Twins game on the radio? I it, did not. Any of them. I did not, no. Dan Gladden had the hiccups the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it was Fantastic. the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, funny. <laughs> Abramovich left the uh, UK earlier this month after being sanctioned by the British government over his ties to Putin. He's 54. Uh, he has been involved in secret peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, these talks are believed to be a way of restoring his image following the hefty sanctions from the UK and the EU. If I understand Abramovich correctly, he's trying to play an important role now. Uh, he's been sanctioned. And yes, I suppose he's trying to hang on to his mansions and airplanes, but he's been working to restore peace, whatever his motive might be. And uh, it's not known whether they were attacked by a biological or chemical agent or some sort of electromagnetic radiation attack. Hmm. Uh, okay. A uh, person close to uh, Abram Abramovich said it wasn't clear who had targeted the group, but it may have been hardliners in Moscow. The investigative website Bellingcat confirmed three members of the joint delegation, including Abramovich, attended peace talks in the Ukrainian capital on March 3rd. Immediately, they experienced symptoms consistent with poisoning and chemical weapons. But hasn't that always been one of Putin's big deals? Uh, yeah. Uh, poisoning opponents to kill him? Yeah, there, that, that really has been. All right, here we go. Well, Reavers is not here. He's somewhere else, and Rookie's attempting to uh, run the uh, show, okay, and we're, so. we're all set now, aren't we? Yeah, we're all set. And if uh, you can see us on Facebook Live, we want to make sure we watch all your language. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no. absolutely no idea. No, we're not live on Facebook. I have no idea either. 
frankly, we're having some problems. But we're going to get them worked. Well, out. I didn't click a private thing. I didn't see a private thing to click. So if we're live, we're live. Well, here you go, right. folks. This is what you get. Business also, more paying. important, to, people would love that. Let me tell you something. Kenny texted me early this morning, and I had, I had some familiarity with what happened at the Oscars last night, only because I was a kid of mine used to have uh, tweeted me, and I saw the whole unedited. Okay, Japanese or Australian about version. the whole thing. And uh, I have to tell you, years and years ago, I was probably a 50 movie a year guy. I know. I remember when I worked at the Grandview, you came in constantly or the Highland. A, I bet I went to a movie a week. I even wrote about some of them and sent them to a few friends. And I was really, really a big fan. And as the years have gone by, I can't tell you how uninterested I've become uh, with these fools. And it has a lot to do with the mystery and their role in it. They're just uh, mouthpieces for the mystery. And so I, I, have, I couldn't have named you one movie that was nominated last night. It's no okay. longer must-watch television. I, don't, I really don't care what these people are up to. There's very few of them I admire. I, I like Jeff Bridges, and he'll probably break my heart by doing something stupid. I agree with you about the Hollywood elite. However, I'm still, I, 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 had to, I was at work last night, so I didn't see the entire thing. I'm still intrigued by what they do, how self-important they are. So that's why I watch. Well, how self-important was this example of Will Smith getting up out of his seat and going up on stage and uh, I think with an open hand. I don't think yes. he had a closed fist. He smacked... Uh, uh, Chris Rock, pretty good. Uh, a very astonished Chris this, Rock. This stemmed from uh, Chris Rock making a fairly benign reference to Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Yes. Who is bald. She has alopecia. She has shaved her head, yes. But okay. she, is, she has alopecia, which means you're, you're losing your hair. All right, but that's not a death sentence. It has nothing to do with no. cancer or anything like that. Correct. It, so, what, so what Chris said was, hey, uh, Jada, can't wait to see you in uh, G.I. Jane 2. Meaning, you know, as a soldier, you might not have much hair. Right. And this moron Smith gets up out of his chair, goes up and smacks. After laughing at the joke initially. Yeah, he laughed yeah. at it. Then he, he went chuckled. up on stage and he belted rock, uh, at which point you can think it's a bit. But then it becomes not a bit when he goes back to his seat and is yelling out the F word. Yes. That's when I knew it was not a bit. Because I thought... I wouldn't put it past anybody to to stage this, but his response sitting down made me and the people in my room uh, as say a, it's not. Uh, as a psychiatrist uh, and a psychologist, uh, I can tell you exactly what happened here. All right. <laughs> well, wow, I can't wait for this. Uh, his wife has been, uh, how do I put they this? They have an open marriage. Yeah. He so, said, that's what cuckold means. So any well, thank you for that, Grandpa Joe. I yeah. appreciate that right, definition, there you go, folks. That's life. So uh, any anything goes there, and Will never knows what he's going to find when he walks home. Uh, when walks in the door at home, uh, it could could be uh, the guy from yesterday. It could be a new guy. It could be a pair of guys. It could be virtually anything. Yes, I can. and after, the world uh, is her oyster. Is what after you're saying. Uh, che uh, cheering on this behavior <laughs> and loving it and enjoying it for a number of years, a uh, little cuck boy. Finally had enough, and uh, he snapped. Finally, he, he finally snapped. He he can't take it anymore. That was quite a bit of rage he had. Yeah, it was. And I think Kenny's probably his his theory is as probably as correct as any. But it's also a, a you know Kenny said to me, "Do you have a GL spin on this?" Other than that, it's a sending the. Other than it, it was a perfect example of the decline of moral and ethical integrity that we're seeing in every aspect of society. Uh, I have no, uh, I have no horse in the race. I, I really don't care about these people. Uh, I think they've diminished their own industry. Uh, the behavior last night diminished their own industry. Uh, I, I just find it uh, ridiculous and appalling behavior. And I, I don't know why you're smiling. I'm, I'm smiling at the, uh, at the his choice of words to, uh, to kind of. Um hush chris rock yeah keep my wife out of your mouth out of your mouth right. I, I thought that was a uh, maybe a pre-selected phrase out of, your, out of, your of some sort mouth. yes the other thing that makes you lean towards bit is know. the the, the seat he had he was if right you, there if you're in that seat He's it's almost a seat. roast yeah. it's almost if you're in that seat you're going to be roasted and that plus these morons have to decide are you going to have uh, people like Chris Rock who are going to poke fun at you, aren't you? 
Um, Bring back Ricky Gervais. But when I asked you for a GL spin, and I, didn't I say something along the lines of this is where we're at in America yes, right now? Yes, you did. This is raging on airplanes. Yes. This is raging in the Kentucky Fried Chicken when you only have two white breasts instead of instead of four. This is this is America. Great fun. At its finest. This Great is food America, reference, by the way. This is America unhinged. Yeah. This is where we're at, and it's unhinged everywhere. And now, I'm and I'm kind of concerned that this might open up the floodgates now to where anybody who's even slightly offended can approach the stage mm -hmm. and, and slap it out with with them. Can you imagine uh, D Don Rickles? He couldn't exist. Yeah, your hockey puck. He wouldn't. No, uh, oh, he got much more I, serious I know he, than I know hockey did. puck, and they laughed it off because it was great fun. It was a joke. Yep. It was humor. Now, well, almost every comedian that works now, at some point, says something to an audience member that uh, that is no worse than what was said last night. And you now, you know, you could see people coming up and and smacking them inside of the head. But yeah. you can introduce I hope not. you can introduce political identity to this too. Uh, oh, sure. Apparently, it's uh, uh, verboten to make fun of a black woman's hair. Well, but it was made fun of by a black guy. And another black guy attacked him. So I, I, but there's some political identity at work here. We're we're pretty much. Why was nothing done? I wonder. Where was security? I, I thought it was fake at first because there was no security whatsoever. <laughs> and then when I saw the tape, I went, "Well, I guess it's do not you, fake." But where is security? Do you guys suppose that Chris Rock might have been one of the guys in the bedroom one day? Stop. When Will Smith came <laughs> home. Stop. You, you want to hear something st really funny? Hmm. You were one of the guys. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I, I just might walk off without slapping anybody. What? What didn't I do? What are you talking what about? What didn't I do? When? To start the show. You didn't leave. No, worse than didn't, that. Uh, you didn't go nuts. Nope. You didn't hit record? I didn't, didn't hit record. Music, didn't hit record. We haven't been recording? We've been recording on this one. I just started recording on this one. <laughs> So what, what will... I am going to swear. I'm going to swear. <laughs> okay. Keep... I'm not going to swear. Wait, so so wait. is any of this going to be heard by listeners? Uh, you got a minute going so far. You were rolling there. I thought you were kind of rusty. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so let's... Uh, so none of the poisoning thing got on or any of that? No. Nope. Jesus nope. Christ. It's only on the... Um, <laughs> It's only on the live broadcast, which, you know what? Why don't we try this again tomorrow? I'm serious. I'm serious. Let's cut it short and no, try this again keep tomorrow. keep going. Well, no, because I, 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 I don't work that way. I can't work that way. You can work. Through. You're, you're still going. I'm a professional People are still going to hear. Save your spy story thing for tomorrow <laughs> because that's going to be still very big news. And we're just going to roll with this right now as we go. And you know what we're going to make tomorrow? We're going to make a checklist. A checklist where we have to, what do you like mean, a pilot. We? Did you do this? Did you do this? Oh, you're going to make a checklist. I only do this once every six months for crying out loud. Yeah, and that, that's not going to happen again. What happened with this poison thing? How did that go? Well, I mean, What's Russia is crazy with this. This is, might even be more important than the other thing. So we're recording video, but we weren't recording audio. Yes, so all the video is recorded. So if they can transform that somehow... Get we'll the be audio okay. From the video. When you say they, who are you referring to? Not me. To? I'm going to be long gone. <laughs> I think we should. I'm serious. No, seriously. Here's what we do. I we, agree with Joe. No, I think no, we no. Pull the We're, plug right no, now. Wait, post, we, post what we have so far. That'll be a. An, if an, you an, want, I'll drop some f bombs here <laughs> yeah. that no, will shut us no, down. No, because what we can do is we can take from this stream here what we're recording and we can plug it into Audacity. Fine, but everything say, will be heard. Fine, I say you do that right now, and we're end this today. We'll end this today. A 14-minute? That's right. I think yeah. that would be funny. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I I, this, there's no other way to do this. I think I'm done, too. Joe, I think Joe, <laughs> might, be a little, Joe might be a little discombobulated if we continue. Well, call things. Pat. Let's do sports stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what you're saying. You're telling me to. I think to, this would wait, be a good opportunity wait, for the four wait. of us to go home, sneak in the house, and make sure there's not a jaded, <laughs> jaded Smith Pinkett Will thing going on when we're at work. <laughs> oh. I see what you're saying. You know, I'm at the point in my life where I would just rather have a talking frog. You know. <laughs> 
you know, folks. Or no, I'd ask him, what's your secret? Yeah. <laughs> and could you come back tomorrow, right. please? Oh, you know, you're having a tough day at work. And, God, and, and, it, and it, Let's end it. It, gets, it gets better. You know how it gets better? Hmm. When you go home and you, you sit and maybe you find out that that is happening at your own home and you, <laughs> you're kind of bummed out and you just... You don't care. You feel sad. Yeah. So you, in order to feel better... You, you burn a candle that has a oh, spiral light in candle. You're going to get your ad in yeah. this show it's, it's now. My, I'm putting my ad in so I can pay. <laughs> Spiralllightcandles.com. Uh, so they're hands. not boring. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> show of hands what? Who wants to end the show right now? I well, do, let me finish I my do. Spiral yeah, Light I, candle I, I first. I'm with you guys at yeah. this point. Okay, we We're done. Stop burning boring candles. Spiralllightcandles.com is a local company, a garage logic company that when you're sad like I am right now, you go home and you Watch it and it burns in a circular motion. Go to spirallightcandles.com, yeah. click on the Garage Logic logo so, on the bottom, and get your hands on the cylinder index candle when you're sitting in your garage alone crying with a nice ice cold vodka in your hand. It makes the day better. Spirallightcandles.com. And before we go, can I just add Safe. if if you need a, a lawn treatment program this summer, go to professionalturf.com. Uh, if you need work done, done around the house, go to aimhighconstructionmn.com. And if you're looking to buy a safe, today is the last day of the sale at maplegrovelockandsafe.com. And I would just like to point out, if tomorrow the news, the news sounds old tomorrow, it's just today's news. Don't worry about it. No, you can come up with news. <laughs> look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's packed every, yeah, every piece yeah, of I'm paper done. that he has <laughs> up. Every single piece of I'm paper done. that he has. I just want to know what people are going to think. I don't care what when they, they think. No, when they download and they see that there's only a 17-minute show. You know, Hit the music, Rook. Yeah, probably the music. think it's, take hey, it we're getting a short sermon today. Let's go. Here we go. This yeah. is going to be make, fun. Make, make sure the boss knows we're getting paid for the whole show, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna wanna, Bye. You want to keep that one kind of quiet. Right there. Hey, Pod MN on your smartphone. If you want to find a, a different podcast other than this one, you have I my wouldn't invitation. Blame you one bit. Pod MN <laughs> on your smartphone. And also remember, subscribe to the Garage Logic YouTube page where you might see this entire thing on YouTube. And if you subscribe to it, you will be enlightened or very depressed like and, we all are and, today. And it. And remember the Garage Logic online store at garagelogic.com. Check it all out. We're all there waiting for you. Loyal GLers, much appreciated. We'll catch you again next we'll time. We'll do it better tomorrow, I, I promise. Are you sure? Yes. For real? Make yourself a checklist. Doing what? All right, we got it. Collective cha in three, two, one.